Hello, I'm the Jody Saver and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to be talking through my mortgage overpayments for February 2024. Just before I get into the main video, I just want to flag, as always, that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I just track my own journey on this channel and everything I say is just my own personal opinions and what works for me. So, um, where were we at the end of January? So I mentioned on the last video that my aim this year and what I've got in sight is for us to get the mortgage balance um, to be under £100,000. Um, and to do that, I need to, or we need to, I should say, me and my partner need to knock um, around £1,000 off the mortgage balance each month. So we made a good start in January. Um, we made an overpayment of £600, which meant that the balance... Um, dropped by a thousand pound in January. So the hope going into February was for us to continue and do the same. So this is my spreadsheet. I'll go through the figures, go through the totals, and then talk a bit about the overall totals at the end. So the starting balance this month was 109,988. So it's the balance that was at the end of January. My standard payment is £510 so that is what's contracted to um, with the mortgage provider that I pay each month. Um, the reason it's as low is because I've mentioned on a few videos that up until 2026 we are on a very low mortgage interest rate of 1.16%. Looking at rates as they are currently I'm anticipating that will probably be remortgaging onto a four to five percent deal and um, as it currently stands in 2026 but hopefully um rates might reduce a bit um and then overpayment was again 600 pounds so very fortunate that in february we were able to make this overpayment i mean our budget um my money at the start of the month and as soon as i know there's no kind of big upcoming expenses in the month i trans and once i paid all my monthly bills i transfer over um as much as i can to the um mortgage and 600 pound is sort of my my goal each month um and i've managed to hit that again in february and the interest that accrued on the mortgage in the month was 97 pound so um following on from us saying that we have a very low interest rate it means that there's not much interest accruing each month at the moment so that meant that our end balance at the end of the month was one hundred and eight thousand nine hundred and seventy five pound um which meant ooh, gone too far which meant that the balance paid off was a thousand and thirteen pounds so um a thousand pound was paid off in um february which is great so we've met our aim of knocking a thousand pound off the balance just in terms of what that means um in total so far this year so um we've made just over a thousand pound in standard payments and 1200 pound in mortgage over payments interest accrued so far this year is 205 pound um and then the balance paid off so far this year is two thousand pound which is great um, as I said, my aim is for us to get below £100,000, so we are £9,000 away from that, so I'm feeling really positive that we're going to hit that this year, it'll feel really motivational to get from a six-figure mortgage balance to a five-figure mortgage balance, and I think that'll be, um, it'll feel like a big milestone in our journey. So just some overall stats. So the um, the percentage that we've overpaid, sorry, the percentage of the mortgage that we've paid off in 2024. So based on the starting balance of 111,000 this year, we've knocked off 2% so far. And then the total overpayment so far. So this is the, since the beginning of the mortgage journey, um, around six years ago now, how much have we overpaid? So this figure grows every month and it's currently at £22,837, which is unbelievable. So, you know, I mention it every month when I do these videos, but if you ask me to pull £22,500 from my pocket tomorrow, it would be very hard. But because we've done it gradually over time, like, yes, there has been months where we've been overpaying by £1,000, 
but still it builds up and you know every pound that we overpay adds to that balance the next two things which i've been reporting recently is my Sprive overpayment pot so i'll link my video uh, review and my referral code for the Sprive um, overpayment app um, and just in case you don't know it's a mortgage app that links to your bank and helps you make mortgage overpayments so it'll it's got some cashback offers you can use when you're doing your groceries but also it works by looking at your bank and how much you're spending and it'll set a, a set amount of money um per month for you to use as an overpayment so at the moment my limits are kind of i want a minimum of 25 pound moved across from my bank account and if it looks like i have more money that i can um use as overpayments then the then the app will give me a notification and say it's going to move you know i don't know 17 pound across because it's found an extra 17 pound in my bank um that it thinks i can afford to use as an overpayment so it's quite a good nudge tactic um at the moment, the sitting in that overpayment pot is two hundred and forty-two pound. Now, Sprive will, because of the restrictions. Well, it's not even. Really, I would say because of the restriction within the app with my mortgage provider, it'll only let me overpay that once I get to a balance of five hundred pound. So actually, in actual fact, when I make my own overpayments, I can make a pound overpayment if I wanted to. There's no restriction on how much I can. Um, a minimum for what I need to overpay but with this app I have to reach £500 before I can send the money across so this is all just building up there at the moment and hopefully at some point this year I'll reach £500 and then you'll see it um, feature in these figures so that's great and then I'm, I'm just going to be a bit pedantic and just change that colour because it's not related to the Sprive overpayment and this is my current mortgage um, end date um, and I'm just going to change that to be a capital as well. Oops. Um, so interestingly, um, and I haven't talked about this on the videos, but because I haven't talked about it and I just want to flag, it is not financial advice before anyone hears what I'm doing and classifies it as some sort of me giving advice. It's not. But how I've been handling mortgage overpayments at the moment is that with my provider, you can set an overpayment preference. So you can have it where the overpayment doesn't affect the monthly amount and it doesn't affect the mortgage term and it just builds as this um, overall overpayment and you see and it comes off your balance. But you would still be having your mortgage for the set amount of time and your kind of fixed period deal, the amount you pay in your mortgage provider, that wouldn't change. So previously, the time when I've noticed the impact of my mortgage overpayments is when I've come to remortgage and I'm remortgaging at a lower um, capital amount than I would have been if I hadn't overpaid the mortgage, if that makes sense. It is a bit complicated, so um, apologies if that doesn't make sense. But in terms of motivating me and my partner, I discussed it with my partner and I said, actually, I think what would help me more is if every overpayment I make, or we make, if we can see the impact on the mortgage end date or so reducing the mortgage term. So what I did was, and it was just through an online form, I set my overpayment preference to be that the every overpayment that we make reduces the mortgage term so our mortgage term was originally march 2047 and with the twenty two thousand pounds worth of mortgage overpayments we've made so far i set this preference and it reduced that mortgage end date to be april 44 so um a three-year reduction which is brilliant now I, to be honest i expected it to be a bit more than three years because i'm thinking i pay we're contracted to pay six thousand pound per year um so that so six times three is eighteen thousand so i'm thinking to myself where's that extra four thousand went however thinking about it and i haven't researched this i'm wondering if they take it off based on the standard variable rate interest rate because like i have a 1.16 percent 
um, interest rate at the moment, but that's not going to be the same throughout the duration of my mortgage. So the 6,000 I'm contracted to pay at the moment, um, it's not going to be that forever. So maybe the, the work it based on the fact that down the line, you might be on the SVR. So the 22,000 overpayment only saves us three years in total. Um, I don't know. That's a theory. Um, just in terms of, because I've mentioned it, I will say that one of the consequences of reducing the term is that um, the, the, the payments I make and I'm contracted to pay are the same. And it means when I come to remortgage, like I'm, I'm going to have a lower balance, but I'm going to have a shorter term. So I'm not going to see any gains that way in the sense that I'm not going to be remortgaging in a couple of years and paying less um, per month because I've overpaid. Actually, my mortgage payments are staying the same. It's just that I'm, I'm doing it over a, um, a reduced period of time. Um, that was a bit of a waffle and I totally appreciate if that doesn't make any sense. So if you've got any queries or you want to know more about what I've done, then um, pop it in the comments box down below. But just a flag, obviously, I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are interested in changing mortgage terms, things like that, then do do your own research. You know, Martin Lewis's Money Saving Expert um, website has lots of articles on it. Um, there's with your mortgage provider, there's normally quite a lot of good um, information on those websites as well. And it's all personal, you know, what it's what works for you. And um, for me personally, I just, I wanted to be motivated more by seeing the reduction in the term because mortgage overpayments are a marathon and they're not a sprint. And sometimes it's a bit like a carrot and stick approach. Like if, I, if I've got something that's motivating us along, then it helps and me seeking the mortgage term come down that does does help so um yeah that's the mortgage overpayment for february 2024 i absolutely love when people comment with their own journeys um there was a few people commenting on my last video saying that they were at the end of their mortgage and some kind of pearls of wisdom they wanted to share um and some people comment in to say that they were in the sort of start of their mortgage overpayment journey so as always if you've got any pearls of wisdom any thoughts then yeah just drop it drop us a line down below and i'll see you on the next video <laughs>